Well, I have my mom here and my pastor, uh, Pastor Cindy Mooring. Um, mom, would you just share a little bit? What, what are three three things that you're really excited about about this conference uh, that's coming up? Well, first of all, uh, not many people probably know this, but before we ever pastored a church, um, my husband and I were worship leaders for many years yes. uh, in many different churches. And our heart has always been, and we've learned through leading worship, that you serve the vision of the house. Yes. And whatever that vision is, as a worship leader, you're called to create moments in the spirit that line up with what the pastor totally. and the vision of the house is. And I, I know personally as a worship leader, sometimes that can be even frustrating for a worship leader. Yes. Because you may feel something or see something completely different and but yet you're called to serve that vision. Yeah, to honor the pastor. And to yeah. honor the pastor. And so we've learned through the years that God will honor you yes. if you honor them. That's huge. And so, so um, then when it came time for us to start our own church, and it was like, okay, God, it, we've never been pastors before, you know? Yeah. And so then we started stepping into the pastoral role, <laughs> and then we began to understand a pastor's role even more so yes. as we became pastors and, and, and not just worship leaders because it's a whole different dynamic of what you're dealing with on a daily basis totally. with people and their lives and and so I understood all the more why it's so important as a worship leader yeah. and a pastor to work together yeah. and to honor the man and woman of God because That's you huge. never know what they're walking through with people, what they're dealing with. And we're, we're, as worship leaders, are to be in unity. And yes. what the Bible says where there's unity, there's a commanded blessing. Wow. So we all want to live in that commanded blessing. So a lot of that's just laying down our own pride and our own agendas and serving the one agenda. And yes. that is to make Jesus famous, to make him the one true living Lord of all yeah. in everything we do. And we do that by submitting to one another and laying down yes. our own agendas and so our heart is to share that at this conference yep. from every angle possible and to help you as worship leaders as well as pastors how to work together and in unity and then also the prophetic we're going to have a time of flowing yeah. in the prophetic and releasing prophetic words over people's lives and our last conference there were some real words that went forth over people's lives that changed their complete destiny. Yes. And I've been hearing testimonies about that. And so I'm excited about to see yeah. what the Holy Ghost has well, in store I, for I know our, our story as a family. Yes. The, the the ministry of the personal prophecy. It's changed our lives. Uh, has, yeah, has been central to, to who we are and, and where we are right now. Absolutely. So we're ex definitely excited about that. And then I'm excited to, to see all the songwriting that's going to go forth oh, and yes, the new yeah. songs that are going to be birthed in this conference. And... Um, Leland got to share uh, not long ago about, you know, how some of his songs were birthed in moments of just complete surrender to God. I, I remember Tears of the Saints yeah. was written after we'd come out of a prayer meeting and Leland just went to the piano. So he was still in worship and intercession over the lost. Yeah. And he sat down at the piano at 2908 Heatherwood and the entire song, Tears of the Saints, just flowed out of him. Yeah. Just like Lion and the Lamb. Yeah. In that time of worship. So I'm believing for those kind of moments. Yes. In this in I, this conference. Absolutely. And and so and for songwriters and worship leaders, it can be a song. Right. For pastors and church leaders, it can be vision. Right. It can be ideas. Right. It can be encouragement. Uh, for for creatives who are non musical creatives, whatever you do, any kind of type of art, it can be inspiration, ideas. So right. so get here. Um, uh, we're so excited about it. Well, what's amazing about the Holy Ghost? He's the Creator. Yes. So the Creator creates everything, not <laughs> yes. just not just music, everything. So yeah. there's something about being in an atmosphere yep. where it's saturated with the presence of God. You just can't put in words yeah. what it does in your spirit. Yeah. So we encourage you to come and be a part of it. You know, uh, sometimes we have to make plans to meet yeah. with God. That's so true. Just like you make a plan to go to the doctor and you say, okay, I'm going to put this on my calendar. This is something I need to do. You need to make a plan to meet with the Lord. And I'm telling you, this conference is yeah. going to be a place where you can meet with the Holy Spirit and He's going to do great things. Dad. So awesome. We're excited. So sign up now. You can click the link in this post. Um, uh, we have early bird registration going on right now and, uh, and, and then the general registration closer to the conference date. So October 11th through 13th, fill this house conference. Get here. We love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye.